Hello everyone, welcome back to Tutor Plus Tutorial. I am Mahadeep Jisan and I am a student of Kura Trust. Today I am going to show you how to create a accordion menu using Bootstrap. Uh, first of all, what is accordion? Accordion is a such kind of collapsible menu. When I click on it, it will be expanded and when I uh, click twice uh, or next on it and it will be shrinked. Now let's make it and in this folder we need to create a menu text document and uh, rename it and index dot uh, html and uh, after this uh, we have to open it and uh, and we have to integrate it with style css and uh, look at we are going to make it uh, accordion using bootstrap so we need to uh, the we need the bootstrap latest version for this we have to go to get bootstrap.com and download bootstrap and after download we need to integrate uh, it with our index.html file but uh, I'm not going to show you how to uh, integrate it uh, you can uh, watch it from our uh, other tutorial on how to integrate the strap and uh, now I have now you can see I have integrated it with in CSS bootstrap.css bootstrap similar CSS bootstrap.js jQuery JS. By this you by this way you can integrate uh, it. And now let's write down our codes. First of all, oh, so we are going to make a um, we are going to make a accordion. Uh, to make this accordion, we are going to use the panel component of Bootstrap. Uh, why I use panel component? Yeah, here is a uh, use. Uh, here is a style of uh, pa panel component. Uh, yeah, you can see here is the header of, uh, panel heading and uh, here is the panel body so it's a mm, nice design so to design our uh, work we need to use other components of bootstrap like uh, list group or uh, panel group so here i am uh, using panel group First of all, DIP club panel group zero P. After panel group, we are going to use next div uh, div panel. Class panel panel default and after this we have to take the panel heading 
we have taken panel group then panel default and then we have to take the panel heading panel heading means in this section in this section is called panel heading so we have to uh, use the class panel heading class panel heading panel heading panel heading after panel heading we have to write down our head uh, down our uh, heading of uh, heading text heading text uh, here heading text is this is a heading text so we have to use a, we are going to use a uh, H, uh, we are going to use a sport tag you can use any of uh, typography tab as you want I am going to use a 3 then in the three, we are going to write so class panel title panel title uh, panel title then we are going to a Hyper reference, hyper reference, and in the hyper reference section, we have to link up with the here you can see we have in in this section hyper reference section we have to link link with this section. We are creating this section, and now we have to link with this section. You know in this uh, this will uh, remain in uh, another div so we have to link up with this div uh, to link up mm, this div uh, we uh, will take it as an id uh, we are uh, going to use pull up one Pull up one pull up from the school one and then we have to write down data table. We have to uh, write down a new new attribute name data table. Digital and uh, and hello happy of it will be pull up pull up and uh, then uh, another uh, uh, and another attribute named role that's for this button not it, it's not necessary but uh, you have it is uh, uh, needed in the when you integrate this stimul with the server then there is need it need that <laughs> it's need <laughs> sorry uh, there is need okay roll button Now we are writing, we are named this button as collapsible group item on or something as you want, blah 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 blah. What you want, see you either collapsible. Flexible or flexible one.
let's see what's happened uh, now we will run it and uh, we will watch what happened and uh, yeah here uh, we have uh, already uh, get uh, the panel heading of panel heading section and uh, here is our pa panel title and uh, now we will add the uh, expandable section which will be expanded and shrink and uh, now let's add this section class and uh, we will uh, set it as panel collapse panel collapse and uh, then another class named collapse Set a ID here and uh, for this uh, hyper reference here we have uh, we have told that you have need an ID to link up with this section so we have already named the ID and we will copy it and paste it here okay then panel body panel body panel body to stylize this section uh, the is stylized for the section which uh, will be expanded and uh, uh, shrinked so Now here we will add all of uh, all of our description. And we are all almost done. And now we will save it and run it from here. Okay. Yeah, we have did it and uh, we have done it and uh, here we have got it and now we can copy it and uh, copy it and paste it for another here is a problem uh, here when I click on it it will open this section and again I when I click on it it will open this section so so there is a problem we have to fix it so what happened uh, the problem is we have used uh, the same hyper reference ID in every <coughs> section. So we need to change these IDs. Here we have used club stone. You can see here we have also used club stone. 
so we need to change here or there suppose we need to write mm -hmm. plus 2 and uh, here we will use class 2 Another use here we use two and now we almost done and uh, we have done it If I click on this section, this section will be uh, expanded and uh, when I click on it, this section will be expanded. Uh, so, guys, that's, uh, I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial and uh, keep trying, practice and practice, practice, practice and practice. Practice makes them and perfect. So I think you will uh, you will do more practice and uh, wait for our next tutorial. Till then, cheers.